So welcome to the Atlantic Ocean. We've actually been in this park for well over a week, waiting for some nice sunny weather to enjoy the beach. And to be honest with you, it's our first day over here because the weather has been crappy. In fact, if you look behind me, this is probably one of the nicest days we've had lately. It's a little bit warmer today, but I am really sick of this overcast. That being said, we're going to get out there and enjoy the best amenity at this park, which is the proximity to the beach. We are in Jacksonville, Florida, and the park we're at is called Hannah, I believe it's a city park? Is that correct? Yeah, city of Jacksonville, Hannah Park. Okay, so the cool thing about this park is it has, uh, you have availability to get to a lake, they have their own little private lake there, and the Atlantic Ocean. Here, let me take off my shoes. Now the park here is also have access for day use but the area of the beach that we're at there's several boardwalks that go out the area of the beach that we're at is probably the farthest from the entrance to the gate so I would assume that being said that this is probably what the least amount of people would be at this part of the beach probably maybe. the people using this part of the beach are all camping yeah so it's just it's nice because if we had better visibility, we could show you how many, it feels like miles of uh, beachfront. Look at this visibility Amy has mentioned. Look at that. This feels, you know what, this feels a little bit like our home state of Oregon, where this is what it looks like on a typical summer day on the beach. Yeah, this is like a Pacific Northwest beach, yeah. except for the fact that we're wearing shorts. Yeah, we are wearing shorts. You know, if we were out in a in a packed Northwest beach, especially, the weather looked like this, you'd be wearing a coat and long pants. Well, especially the day after Thanksgiving, which is today. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's be true. It freezing. That's true. And you certainly wouldn't be going in the water like I'm fixing to do right now. So I did wear my bathing suit so that I could test it out, but the waves are rolling, man. It's usually it's not this turbulent out here. Check out the waves. All right, I'm going in the water. After the look on his face, I'm not sticking my feet in. <laughs> not, it's not super warm. <laughs> it's not warm today. You know, we've been so spoiled. We were out, we were out at the Gulf on pretty much all over the Florida Panhandle. If you've been watching our channel, you've seen us like brag about Destin and St. George Island. Uh, this is different and disappointing, honestly, but we're grateful that there's still sand here. I know that uh, the Hurricane Nicole took away some of the Atlantic beaches altogether, like removed the sand from the beach in some places. So we're just lucky to still be here and so grateful because it is beautiful in its own right. It is a pretty beach. Is. But I want my sunshine back. Maybe in a couple days we can bring you guys back out here and we'll see a little sun. Maybe. The park here is really known for their bicycle trails and their hiking trails. And several of them are marked, as you can see right here. They have levels of difficulty. So you get a map and you can check out, you know, whether it's for beginners or advanced. You can see the bike trail continues there and then just as I walk not very far hiking trails and these hiking trails some of these trails go for miles uh, both the bike and the hiking trails go for miles they go all the way around the lake and um, out to the beach and then on some days they actually are one way so you'll notice that a bicycle 
trail might say uh, on certain days this is the direction you go and on certain days the other direction you go and I guess that just makes it more of a unique experience being able to uh, see things from other directions or maybe have a little more fun going up a hill or down a hill where you went the other direction before I don't know this place is really beautiful this is Amy's and my second time being here we were here last spring yeah last spring and the weather was beautiful and we couldn't wait to come back and unfortunately this time it was right after Hurricane Nicole and there was some beach damage but the weather has just been really poor most of the time that we've been here so it's been we haven't really been able to get out do a whole lot of hiking or bicycling because it's been raining in fact we had to cancel our next stop because they had a lot more damage at that particular park so we actually have been staying here for like three weeks we've never stayed anywhere for three weeks so it's been kind of cool unfortunately we haven't really been able to enjoy it but today the weather is beautiful so while Amy's working, I'm getting out and doing some exploring. You know, since Amy and I started full-timing over a year and a half ago, we've kind of gone through this normal progression that full-timers go through, which basically means at first we treat it all like camping. We were out lighting bonfires every night, eating over the fire, drinking a lot of beer, all this good stuff. But after about a year and a half, your body can't really keep up with that, and you find less value in doing that it's almost like when I go out in my own backyard and light a bonfire so actually we started doing more running and more walking and hiking and doing so today I found this really cool little boardwalk that doesn't have any act I mean there's a little trail to the beach from it but it's, if you weren't out walking you probably wouldn't recognize it or find it but it's really cool here check this out they got these uh, binoculars, and they don't cost anything. Oh yeah. It's kind of cool actually. I can see way out there. There's hotels right over there. Let's see if you can see them. Way over there. Let's see if I can get you to see through the camera here, or through the binoculars here. Let's head out on the beach. The other day when Amy and I were out here, the weather was eh, pretty overcast, pretty dark, but today it's beautiful. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be a rain and pretty crappy weather later on today, so that's why I had to get out right now and check it out. But check this out. Looks like there's a trail right over here that goes out to the beach. This is crazy. There's nobody out here. You can see people way down the beach. And you can see some people behind me here. But for the most part, there's nobody out here. Oh, the water's coming in and I'm not wearing beach shoes or anything. I'd better watch out. Yeah, it looks like the tide's coming in. I got water sneaking up on me here, so. As you can see, it's coming up on the beach. Wow, look how fast that's coming up. I think I'm gonna head back to camp and uh, see if one of the kitties wants to go for a walk. All right, well, I went back to Wanda, see which cat wanted to go for a walk, and it was Randy. He met me at the door and he said meow. And so I was like, okay, obviously, He's the one that wants to go. Norman doesn't usually like walking to it out in the day. Too much wind. Come on, buddy. Let's go for a walk. But Randy, he enjoys it. So, makes it easier. I can take Norman at night and Randy during the day. Actually, it doesn't work that way because 
when I take Norman at night, then Randy wants to go at night too. So I think he is out more often, but I'll take Norman for a longer walk at night. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on, come on. This way, this way. Good boy. Yeah. The other night, Randy discovered armadillos. An armadillo actually like walked right up to him. We didn't even see it coming. All of a sudden, there's an armadillo like, I don't know, a foot away from Randy. Just kind of came up to say hi. Randy was like, hey, how's it going? And uh, then the armadillo decided to hang around camp. So Randy had to keep an eye on him for quite a while. So I think he's looking for more armadillos. You see something, buddy? Huh? Drag me through the trees, aren't you? Want to find a lizard? He just found a couple of lizards. He's discovered those at this campground too, and he loves to chase them. But they're way too fast for him. Here you go. Did you get him? No? He's too fast for you? Through here, yep. Drag Daddy through the trees. There's a lot of construction going on across the lake there, and I think he's a little scared. So now he's taking me home. He took me on a beeline right back home. It's kind of funny how they always know how to find their way back home. So when your cat takes off from your RV and you're afraid that he's lost, he probably isn't. He's probably pretty close, sticks close to home, but wants that freedom. So being is how we ended up extending our stay here, we did have to move sites. And our first site was great. It was right here, right on the water, view of the water, the lake. Um, we had a clear shot of the sky. It was beautiful. Moving into our second spot, a little different. It was kind of nice because it's a little more jungly. However, you see this? These little acorns, they're super tiny, but when they fall 30 some feet from the trees above your RV, it is so loud. It's like whack, whack, whack all day, all night. When the wind comes, blows like 30 of them down. The cats start freaking out. It wakes you up. It's pretty wild. So think about that. If you're going to be here um, in like fall, you're probably going to get slammed with a bunch of these little acorns if you're parked under some trees. Just walk down to the lake. It's a beautiful lake. Um, especially more beautiful when the sun's out, when it's not raining on you, when you're trying to kayak. Check out my little friend over here. Hi, buddy. You fishing? Took the cats out for a walk last night, and one of these things came up on, came out of the bushes, scared the heck out of Randy, and he had this great big fish in his mouth. It's kind of cool, actually. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Let's go out on the dock. Look at that. Living with alligators. I haven't seen a single alligator out here, but I was taking Randy out on the kayak the other day, and it's kind of funny here. I'm out on the kayak, and I've been on the kayak for hours, and no signs of alligators, not even a sign. And then I take Randy out, and I can hear people in kayaks not too far from me yelling, hey, there's a giant alligator, woo, all excited. I'm like, oh man, sorry Randy, I didn't mean to bring you out when there's big critters that wanna eat you. Anyway. 
Let's take a quick walk around the campground and just kind of check out some of the different amenities it has to offer here. Check it out. Over here is a playground that they're building. It's not quite done. Um, but since the last time we were here, there was nothing there and they've got quite a bit of it completed. So probably I would guess within the next month or so, they'll have this playground completed. There's actually another one on the other end of the park too. There is a small general store here and it's not just for campers, it's also for day use people. And uh, it's got all kinds of cool stuff. Let's go inside and check it out. As you can see in here, they have all kinds of camping supplies, food, there's bait and tackle. And the really cool thing about this place too is they do bike rentals here. And if you have your own bike, they do bicycle repair, which is really cool. You don't see that very often, but it definitely is a good perk if you're somebody on the road that every once in a while just needs to get your bike worked on. Check this out. If you full time or even just have an RV, you know how important this is. Look at this propane refilling and I talked to them they not only do canister refills but you can pull up right here and they'll pump it directly into your RV which is really cool especially for those of you that have been with us where sometimes you can't find propane sometimes it's a pain to find it but I guess that if you are in the Jacksonville area Jacksonville Beach area and you are in desperate need of propane, you can come into Hanna Park and fill your tanks. You don't have to be camping here. You probably just have to pay the day use fee to get in, but you can come right over to the store here, and get Joe's propane. If you are staying in the campground and you need to do your laundry, they do have a laundry facility here, which is kind of cool. And actually a couple of the machines are brand new. You don't see this too often, recycle bins you can actually recycle your cans here i rarely ever see that in campgrounds pretty much in most states that we're in cool little thing about this particular place is they have a nature center right here it's open two days a week and my understanding is they have all kinds of little critters and stuff in here so let's go inside and check it out <laughs> Oh, little terrariums. Yeah. I don't think a ball python is native here. I know, but it's interesting <laughs> to people. It's a pretty good girl, huh? Yeah. Hide We've got a Florida case now. Cool. Let's find out. I can't believe you didn't know that. This is a pine cone. Good guess. <laughs> Good job. One more. This looks like a conch or a small one. Let's see. This is a knobbled whelk. Looks like that. Mm. It's pretty good. Look at that big turtle shell next to you. Barnacles on it. Yeah, it's not unusual. Look at that guy. Hey, little buddy. That was kind of cool. They had a bunch of terrariums in there filled with a lot of the local herb fauna, that kind of stuff. They have a cabinet full of like all kinds of skeletons of like sea creatures and they had the mystery box that Amy was digging in. You gotta show them how I parked here. <laughs> yeah, Amy's a great parking job. Look at that. Yeah. Anyway, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a, like I said, it's only open two days a week for just a few hours. But if you happen to be staying here, bring the kids over and check it out. It's kind of cool. We decided to take our kayaks out today onto the lake here. And when we left the RV, it was not raining but it's just trying to start right now it's a little windy it's a little chilly i'm glad i wore a long sleeve shirt just a few helicopters going by this is right next to an air force base so we get occasional air traffic imagine that i don't think it's an air force base i think it's a naval base i better check 
And if anyone's watching this and you know better, I apologize. <laughs> I know how you guys are. My husband's a Marine. Don't mix that stuff up. In the day use area, you have here the kids' splash area, playground, and like I promised, an area where you could rent a boat or kayak and get right out here to enjoy the lake, even if you don't have your own equipment. We didn't go out for very long, but honestly, it's a little cold for me. We got rained on, which is okay. Um, God, I'm from Oregon. I'm used to rain. Then the rain stops and the wind picks up. Anyway, we did get a nice, nice little ride on the water today. It was fun. Everybody, we're going to be traveling around a lot through Florida this winter. We're going to be stopping at a lot of cool places. So if you're interested in checking out our adventures, just keep coming back. Keep watching our videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, maybe ring the bell, and uh, shoot us a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. And remember, too, that when we're staying in these locations, we're eating a lot. We have a great food review channel. It's called Best Food Review Road Trip. I'm going to put the information in the description down below. So until next time, guys, we'll see you.